Oh. <laughs> Hello, yo, everybody. Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? Um, So here's the Q&A with my dad, as promised. You guys asked me questions not that long ago, probably like uh, two weeks ago or something. Yeah, two weeks. And I told you guys that I'd be getting around to doing the Q&A with my dad, and so he's here now. We're here. He's got to leave in like 30 minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes, but I'll tell you what, I'm honored to be here with you. Thank you, Dad. And we, we're supposed to be, we were supposed to do, do we were supposed to do a dual com at ten thousand subs. We're sixteen thousand subs now. So what happened? Ah, uh, you can't stop momentum. I, I think we actually did start doing it at ten thousand, but now it's at sixteen thousand. <laughs> thank so you. So we got a lot of questions from you guys, and I'm grateful for all the questions. And thank you, Dad, for doing the dual com with me. Today. As long as there's nothing embarrassing, because I'm fifty years old and. You know, I get embarrassed easy. I'm a little bit traditional, so nothing crazy, right? No, nothing crazy. Okay. This guy does. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Well, first question we'll go with uh, from Martinez. He says, how does your dad feel about you doing YouTube when you started and now? When he first started YouTube, I was pretty shocked that he even knew what it was. <laughs> okay, okay. Why? <laughs> Why is that a bad thing to say? <laughs> okay. Not embarrassing. No, okay. I think it's funny. <laughs> well, well, I didn't know you know. How do I? Would, how would I know you know what you do with your internet in your room? I don't know. I don't go and peek <laughs> on you in your room. What you're doing with the internet? <laughs> with Najee and the Simpsons. Oh yeah, remember that yes. Najee and the Simpsons. Yeah, I anyway. didn't know that Simpsons had ever got naked with his friend Najee. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, my friend Najee was looking at some weird stuff one time. I was shocked about Marge Simpson. I never thought she had it in her. No pun intended. <laughs> but anyway, um, and now I'm really, I'm proud of him. Uh, this is great. Uh, he has a lot of great friends. You guys are fantastic support. And I'm, I, I'm excited to hear your questions, uh, even not on this Q&A. You guys are just great. Awesome. So from Bad Bunny Marcus, he says, what are you most proud of about your son and what annoys you the most about him? What I'm most proud of about him is his congeniality. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. Congeniality. He's the friendliest, happiest person I've ever met in my life. Easy to get along with. And the most annoying thing that I just cannot stand is he doesn't like avocados. I like avocados. What? They make my lip itchy. Yeah, I don't like that about him. <laughs> and number two, I don't like it that when I used to be able to go up to him when he was four, I could uh, wrestle him down and beat him up. And now when I say, oh, you can't choke me out I have to tap out and it's a little bit um my dad still beats me in jiu-jitsu and in wrestling as he does most people just so you guys know yeah. and uh so yeah so. but there was a long strand of drool coming from my lip in front of your friends <laughs> once when you were choking me out that well, was embarrassing by the way that was only don't ever do that again I, seriously I apologize it's jo okay Joshua Magnum what is the best time you ever had with your dad or you ever had with each other hmm I'll oh, go first man. yeah go ahead um let me think. Well, my mom's calling me, and I can't answer it right now, so decline. Sorry, Mom. Oh, man. <laughs> I wonder why she gets mad at me. <laughs> ah. The best time that I ever had with my dad. Ah, I, I've had a ton of great times with my dad. I can't think of one specific time, but I, I can think... I'll, I'll just list a few things. Maybe uh, one summer we went to the beach, like, literally every weekend. That was a lot of fun. When we would go up to Mount Charleston... Um, that was a lot of fun. We go hiking, extreme hiking. <laughs> yeah, crazy hiking, <laughs> straight up hills. He was only what six, seven. Yeah, something like that. Fun. Um, we did find sand dollars and clamshells at the top of a mountain. Fossils. We fossils. found like fossils. It was of amazing fish at the top of the mountain, which was crazy. 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 Um, I, I don't know that. There's a lot of great times that I've had with my dad. We just um, can't talk about him on here. So far, right? Why? <laughs> you know why? Because they're crazy. They're crazy. I had good times, even when he was like. Four years old, and I used to tuck him in. Our favorite thing to do was uh, he'd say, Dad, uh, can we, before I go to bed, instead of reading him a story or something, he'd say, can we go cruising in your car? Oh, I'm going yeah. To and we'd go cruise around the neighborhood in the car, and he'd say, pull in this parking lot, pull over here, pull through the pizza place, and I'd look over, he'd be sleeping, so I'd carry him in the house. That was a good time. Those were good times, too. I like those. Yes. Um, Leah, Leah Liars? <laughs> yeah, Liars. Liars Slaughter. Uh, did you ever prank each other before? Oh, yeah. All the time. I don't know if I've ever... Have I ever... No, you've never pranked me because you probably... I pr probably wouldn't be able to handle it right. But <laughs> I don't know. I did always prank him. All kinds of stuff. Make girls go up to him and kiss him when he was only six. Uh, just very beautiful model type girls. Asking him out and stuff when he's just sitting there innocently at a dinner table and... Just things like that. I don't even know if that's considered pranks, but, oh. either, uh, but in my day it was. Well, when I, was a I kid. guess I, I don't know if it's considered pranks as in a a bad thing. I mean, who wouldn't want a uh, 
uh, uh, his mom right now is texting him in the middle of this Q&A. Hold on, my mom's texting me, but I will um, ask you a question, and sure. then I will text her back. Sure. From Marcello Bates, what did your dad... Oh, sorry. From Carlos Hernandez, actually. What do you most like about your dad over and you're awesome? That's not what the one... Where is the one that I was looking for? I don't know. Oh, I like my dad's uh, overall love of people the most. Yes, and, and I do love awesome. you, Flows. I do love you. He does. I do. Ex-Con Slick, what did your dad think when he first saw you for the first time ever? Oh, my gosh. When he first came out, right there, bam, within the first one second... I knew for a fact he was my son, number one, which is great. But he has the same face he had the second he took his first breath. I mean, the same exact face. And I thought, wow, this is my mentor. I can't wait till he gains his wisdom and teaches me something. And he teaches me something every day. He does. It's amazing. Well, thank you, Dad. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it more. Hmm. Now we're about to read the okay. next question right here. We are. Yes. The next question is from 3R I'm Fresh. What was the most awkward moment you've ever had with your son? The most awkward moment I've ever had with my son. Uh, well, I don't know. Was there anything awkward yet? No? I don't know. My mom hmm. keeps calling me. Hold on. I've got to uh, answer. Yeah. This. Do you mind, during this Q&A, you're going to witness a phone call from a mother to a child. Very important. I don't know what it's about. But anyway, oh, the most yeah, awkward yeah. moment would be uh, he was uh, talking about his first girlfriend, probably. Um, me asking him questions and him not answering me because it was private. That was the only awkward moment we wait, had wait, wait, about wait. a girl. Maybe me asking questions about a girl and you didn't want to discuss anything about a girl. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's probably the only awkward thing. Um, Nothing to do with anything weird. Never, never. No. Oh, no. the next one. Murfin. How did the... Quote unquote puberty talk go all those years ago. And are you, and just to be an awkward pedophile, is your father sexually active? Uh, yeah, I'm Italian, so obviously that's a given. And, uh, and I'm bald, so that's a given <laughs> as well. But uh, yeah, we did have the sexuality talk when he was in third grade. And I, said, <laughs> I don't know if that was that, is that You were true? in the day school. Okay, maybe you were in fourth grade or fifth, maybe. <laughs> but you know, the day school is like up to what eighth grade, mm -hmm. so somewhere in there. Okay, I know we had the talk because it went something like this PJ, I want to talk to you about something. We were driving in the car, and I said, PJ, I want to talk to you about something about guys and girls. And you know, a guy likes a girl, he says, Yeah, they put their thing in the woman. I hey, who told you that? I said, He said, They teach us. I'm like, Ah. They stole it I from I think him. that was fifth grade, maybe. Yeah, it was fifth grade. Actually, he, he taught me, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. I think you're going to like this one. He, uh, from Mr. Sick Username. And you guys, for the Sounds most part... Sick. Sounds sick. Sounds sick. Sounds for sick. For the most part, I'm just letting my dad answer all the questions and all that oh, stuff. Oh, are you supposed to answer? Something? No, no. I just, I'm just letting you guys know that this is more about my dad's commentary. Oh. More so than about me right now. Because all these questions are kind of, a lot of them geared towards uh, us, but him too. Just so you guys know. Uh, what advice do you have on raising a son and leading him in a positive direction? Number one, understand. If this is coming from a dad or a son, I don't know. But number one, we have to realize as parents, they have their own identity. They are little men even when they're five. And their self-esteem is riding on the way you treat your child. So treat them, be a father, but treat them, definitely treat them as a friend as well so they can trust you. Yeah, uh, Angela, you're, wait, no, go ahead, ask a question, what's going on? We have an internet put in right now, and Angela's looking in the door. Angela just happens to be my wife. Yes? I talk up, I can't hear you. Hiram asked what happened this morning. Hiram asked what happened. No, do we ask how I know his name, and he asked what happened. Oh, just a whole bunch of stuff happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tell him what happened, they misscheduled. Get in here, get in here, what do you want? Do you want Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, we're on our Q&A over here. I gotta, we got people waiting. Thanks, Ann. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and be nicer to him. Boy, <laughs> tell her to be nice to the internet guy. I know. Yelling out. <laughs> well, my dad's getting the internet right now, and they uh, misscheduled his appointment. They sent them out like three hours earlier than they should have been. And so, so <laughs> Angela's handling it now since oh, my dad's boy. the Q&A. She's like a pit bull. She mm. is. Okay. She's very but we nice, love her. So. And we love her, oh. I should say. Can yes. you read this? K-O-K-C book 90? What's it say? Can, Can your dad say my name ten times fast? Yeah. Absolutely. K-O-K-C book 90. 
K O K C buck ninety 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 K O K A That's it. That's all we get. Man, why do you do that to me? I know you did it to me like a couple of years ago. Oh man. Sally picked up seashells. Tyler. Okay, okay. Tyler. Oh, Tyler. How did your dad meet your mom? Oh man, I was working a job and uh, they promoted me to manager and she was in a, we were selling vitamins or something like that. And uh, she came up to me and she said, notice I don't like you like all the other girls like you. I'm like, so you want to go out Friday? She said, okay, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that simple. It's true. And then we had a son. Uh, kind of like that, but not that Friday night. Pretty, but that's basically the basic story. Mm. Nabitno Let's Plays. Can your dad give us some pickup lines to use on the women? Sure. Absolutely. Like, um, okay, pretend you're a woman. Hey, how are you? No, I can't. You got a beard. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay. It doesn't feel right. Okay, do you have any generic ones that we could use? No, but I could say uh, if, if there's a girl there and we're just sitting there and I, want, and I see her, I'll say, hey, I've never seen you in here before. I'm glad you came today. You're making my day already or something. Just be friendly. If... if if they're wearing something nice, tell them they're wearing something Would nice. Would you agree with this statement? Everybody uh, likes to act like they put girls up on a, this pedestal. They're just of, human. They're just human. That's it. You just talk to them like you talk to your friend. That's yeah. it. It's simple. I walk up and I, I go to, sometimes I just fool around and say, I had no idea you were going to be here today. She said, who are you? I'm like, I'm Patrick. I just got here. I, I had no idea. I thought nobody was going to be in here today. <laughs> oh, I said, what's your name? Oh, Elizabeth. I'm like, cool. You come here often? Uh. Yeah, it's just simple. Hello, how you doing? It's just simple talking to somebody. It's like talking to yourself. Easy. Easy. It's very, it's easy. very easy. Yeah, it's not even a question, really, because it's easy. Man it's, there's no difficulty to it. Mantis Killer 9000. Yeah. How old are you and how old is your dad? I'm 22 years old. I just turned 22 two months ago, and my dad is? 50 and a few months, like nine months. 50 and nine months. Yes, yes. And with conception, you dad. He looks very good. He looks like he's 38. Yes. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, okay, this is question can be for both of us. Sure. Um, Wesley Bracey 2, the second. Mm. If you wanted to fight anyone in MMA, who would it be? And great videos, man. Keep it up. Thank you. If I had to fight anybody in MMA, I would take... I'm, I'm going big. I'm going big. Yeah. I'm going to fight Anderson Silva or somebody Ooh. that's going to completely destroy me, but people will know who I am, rather than fighting on the undercard or something. You know? uh, yeah, I'm going to fight Brock Lesnar. <laughs> My dad would win that fight. Yes, I. Yeah. Well, something, something would happen with Brock. That's that guy is nuts. I didn't like when he uh, ran away at when he, they were punching him though in the <laughs> head. He looked like he'd never been hit in the head before. You know. Rubio Chewy ninety nine. Actually, we'll add, ask this question first. Cal Callum Balzilli, would you have, would you rather have sex with a fat nice woman, a fat nice woman, or a skinny ugly woman? A fat, nice woman, or a skinny, ugly woman? Well, yeah. you know, guys, I, seriously. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> They're not comparable. Like, do you mean a skinny, mean woman, or a fat, nice woman? Because, like, when you say skinny, well, ugly, like, the first one's already kind of ugly because of the bigness it's not uh, desirable so they're both ugly <laughs> so, they're both so ugly. would you rather have that with a nice woman or a skinny woman oh, skinny. ugly <laughs> i don't know that's a tough question i think i think definitely a fat nice woman might be pretty in her face that's a good point right? and and she's nice so that makes you feel good and right? she obviously knows how to cook yeah so that the fat woman but we don't do that right unless you're married but anyway, Rubio don't. Chewy 99. We don't. That's right. Rubio Chewy 99. How do you like your son doing jujitsu? I love it. I'm so excited. Uh, look forward to all his competitions, and it's he finds it to be his home. He loves going there. It's his meditation. I wish that, I wish that for everybody that they could have find a place that they feel comfortable with. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. All right. Next question from Liam Rigazio. Have you ever watched one of Overflow's videos before? If so, which one did you enjoy the most and why? I like I watch all his videos uh, because in, be in my job I have a lot of downtime in between appointments. So I just throw that on to hear his voice and stuff. And I like the Q&As because I find out all his hidden secrets. Yes, every one of them. Even the ones that say, I hope my dad's not listening. <laughs> so I make sure I... Luke Hodgson says... Have, you know what? I think I'm going to end this Q&A in about two All minutes, right. you guys. And uh, we'll, because there's, we finished like half the questions and then we'll run through and we'll do another one. So this video is not like 
30 minutes long. Yeah. If that's all right. And I got to go to work. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. And I'm bouncing on this yoga ball. Yoga so ball. So my voice is going up and down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Luke Hodgson says, have you ever walked in on your dad having um, relations with a woman, making mm -hmm. it awkward? No. I have not, and I hope that I never do. Well, when he <laughs> was two years old one time, this girl tried to touch me, and uh, he walked in, thank God. Saved the day. <laughs> the girl, she was a fat, ugly woman. She was one of the fat, ugly women? No, yeah. A combination of the two. Uh, Barry Beast Gaming, what is one thing that you regret most in your life for dad? And um, Okay, so one thing that you regret. One thing I regret that I didn't have more children like PJ. That's really my biggest regret because it's very rewarding. For sure, to have a child. And sometimes, if you, your parents don't feel that way about you, they're just too busy with their life. But later on in life, they'll feel that way. And be a child, definitely be a child that your parents would be happy to have. So clean your room and uh, do the dishes and do your homework and uh, play Call of Duty, of course, only an hour or two a day, no more than that. Why? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> no, uh, it's about, I actually don't even play an hour or two a day. I kind right. of go... Like, I'll go, like, three days and not play, and then I'll sit down one day for, like, three hours or something and play. Then I'll go, like, a couple days and not play. That's oh, about how it oh, works for me. Okay. Good to hear. Uh, two more questions. Destin Kelly says, what video games has your dad played? Hmm. Go ahead. I played Pac-Man. And Pong. Pong. And Pong I was good at. And the Galaga. And? What? Oh, I played Call of... What? I played Call of Duty, but my, my gun was sticking up in the air... Phoenix? Phoenix. What a game is that? What are you doing with the mouse and the phone? He's trying to show me what game I was playing. There we go. What is, oh, Breakout. Tetris. Tetris. Oh, I love Tetris. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yes. But I played Call of Duty and my gun kept sticking straight up in the air and then somebody stabbed me in the neck with a knife, so. <laughs> okay, last really question is, uh, what is the worst punishment you gave your son from Joseph Stealth? Oh, it was bad. Uh, one time, what was it? You weren't doing your homework or something? Yeah, I didn't finish my homework the day before. So I grounded him, right? Yes. And then I felt bad, so I went out and bought him a, a scooter or yeah, something? Yes, a Razor scooter. Yeah, I felt horrible for grounding him. I, I think the grounding <laughs> lasted an hour or two. It did. It was a, a terrible, was horrible. terrible grounding. I was ah. very upset by it, but... Yeah, I don't know why I had to take those measures. Why would you do that? Oh, I don't know. I'm so All right, sorry. you guys, that's it for the video today. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Leave a ton of likes. Um, let's see how many likes this can get up to since it is a Q&A with my dad. And if you guys want to see the next Q&A, let's get this thing up to like 400, 500, well, 600,000 here, likes. Here's why, because my self-esteem is very low right now because of what the internet guy did and, you know, screwed up my day. So if I could get some likes here, I'd really appreciate it. And then I'll tell you some secrets about overflow. Later, yes. okay? We will. I mean, big secret. We'll do another Q&A as soon as this video hits 6,000 likes. I know stuff. 500. I know stuff. I'm going to tell them. I'm really going to tell them. Don't. I'm, I'm going to. All right, I love you guys, and that's it for today. Subscribe if you're new, and I am over. And out.